Joshua chapters 1 to 24 Chapter 1 Joshua is appointed by God One now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua the son of Nun Moses minister saying to Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over this Jordan you and all this people unto the land which I do give to them even to the children of Israel 3 every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. For from the wilderness and this Lebanon even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you, I will not fail you, nor forsake you. 6. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shall you divide for an inheritance the land, which I swore unto their fathers to give them. 7. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded you, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. 9. Have not I commanded you? Be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be you dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua commands the tribes west of the Jordan. 10. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Eleven pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare your provisions, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan, to go in to possess the land, which the Lord your God gives you to possess it. Joshua commands the tribes east of the Jordan. 12 And to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh, spoke Joshua, saying, 13 Remember the word which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God has given you rest, and has given you this land. 14 Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle, shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of Jordan, but you shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valour, and help them, 15 Until the Lord has given your brethren rest, as he has given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God gives them, then you shall return unto the land of your possession, and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side of Jordan toward the sun rising. Joshua is accepted by Israel. 16 And they answered Joshua, saying, All that you command us we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. 17 According as we hearkened unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto you, only the Lord your God be with you, as he was with Moses. 18 Whosoever he be that does rebel against your commandment, and will not hearken unto your words in all that you command him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and of a good courage. Chapter 2 The Faith of Rahab 1 And Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went, and came into Ahalot's house, named Rahab, and lodged there. 2 And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in here tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. 3 And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to you, who are entered into your house, for they are come to search out all the country. For and the woman took the two men, and hid them, and said thus, There came men unto me, but I know not from where they were. Five and it came to pass about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out, where the men went I know not, pursue after them quickly, for you shall overtake them. Six but she had brought them up to the roof of the house, and hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. 7 And the men pursued after them by the way to Jordan unto the folds, and as soon as they who pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. 8 And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. 9 And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. 10 For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you, when you came out of Egypt, and what you did unto the two kings of the Amorites, that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihum and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. 
11 And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man, because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above, and in earth beneath. 12 Now therefore, I pray you, swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that you will also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true sign, 13 And that you will save alive my father, and my mother, and my brethren, and my sisters, and all that they have, and deliver our lives from death. 14 And the men answered her, Our life for yours, if you utter not this our business. And it shall be, when the Lord has given us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with you. 15 Then she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. 16 And she said unto them, Get you to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you, and hide yourselves there three days, until the pursuers be returned, and afterward may you go your way. 17 And the men said unto her, We will be guiltless concerning this your oath which you have made us swear. 18 Behold, when we come into the land, you shall bind this line of scarlet thread in the window which you did let us down by, and you shall bring your father, and your mother, and your brethren, and all your father's household, home unto you. 19 And it shall be, that whosoever shall go out of the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be upon his head, and we will be guiltless, and whosoever shall be with you in the house, his blood shall be on a head, if any hand be upon him. 20 And if you utter this our business, then we will be free of your oath which you have made us to swear. 21 And she said, According unto your words, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed, and she bound the scarlet line in the window. The Faith of the Spies 22 And they went, and came unto the mountain, and abode there three days, until the pursuers were returned, and the pursuers sought them throughout all the way, but found them not. 23 So the two men returned, and descended from the mountain, and passed over, and came to Joshua the son of Nun, and told him all things that befell them. 24 And they said unto Joshua, Truly the Lord has delivered into our hands all the land, for even all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us. Chapter 3 The Miracle of Crossing the Jordan 1 And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they set out from Shittim, and came to the Jordan, he and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they passed over. 2 And it came to pass after three days, that the officers went through the host, 3 And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests the Levites bearing it, then you shall set out from your place, and go after it. 4 Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about two thousand cubits by measure, come not near unto it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. 5 And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. 6 And Joshua spoke unto the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant, and went before the people. 7 And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. 8 And you shall command the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you are come to the edge of the water of Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. 9 And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come here, and hear the words of the Lord your God. 10 And Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Hivites, and the Perizzites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Jebusites. 11 Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth passes over before you into the Jordan. 12 Now therefore take your twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe a man. 13 And it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bore the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand in a heap. 14 And it came to pass, when the people set out from their tents, to pass over Jordan, and the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people, 15 And as they that bore the Ark were come unto the Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bore the Ark dipped in the edge of the water, for Jordan overflows all its banks all the time of harvest, 16 That the waters which came down from above stood and rose up in a heap very far at the city Adam, 
that is beside Zaretan, and those that came down toward the sea of the plain. Even the salt sea failed and were cut off, and the people passed over right opposite Jericho. 17 And the priests that bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan. And all the Israelites passed over on dry ground, until all the people were passed completely over Jordan. Chapter 4 An Altar of a Memorial of the Crossing 1 And it came to pass, when all the people were completely passed over Jordan, that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, saying, To take your twelve men out of the people, out of every tribe a man, three and command them, saying, Take from here out of the midst of the Jordan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones, and you shall carry them over with you, and leave them in the lodging place, where you shall lodge this night. For then Joshua called the twelve men, whom he had prepared of the children of Israel, out of every tribe a man, five and Joshua said unto them, Pass over before the ark of the Lord your God into the midst of Jordan, and take you up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according unto the number of the tribes of the children of Israel. Six that this may be a sign among you, that when your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean you by these stones? Seven then you shall answer them, that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it passed over Jordan, the waters of Jordan were cut off, and these stones shall be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. Eight and the children of Israel did so as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of Jordan, as the Lord spoke unto Joshua, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, and carried them over with them unto the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. Nine and Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they are there unto this day. Ten for the priests who bore the Ark stood in the midst of Jordan, until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to speak unto the people, according to all that Moses commanded Joshua, and the people hastened and passed over. 11 And it came to pass, when all the people were completely passed over, that the ark of the Lord passed over, and the priests, in the presence of the people. 12 And the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh, passed over armed before the children of Israel, as Moses spoke unto them, thirteen about forty thousand prepared for war passed over before the Lord unto battle, to the plains of Jericho. Fourteen on that day the Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him, as they feared Moses, all the days of his life. Fifteen and the Lord spoke unto Joshua, saying, Sixteen command the priests that bear the ark of the testimony, that they come up out of Jordan. Seventeen Joshua therefore commanded the priests, saying, Come you up out of Jordan. 18 And it came to pass, when the priests that bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord were come up out of the midst of Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up unto the dry land, that the waters of Jordan returned unto their place, and flowed over all its banks, as they did before. 19 And the people came up out of Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and encamped in Gilgal, in the east border of Jericho. 20 And those twelve stones, which they took out of Jordan, did Joshua pitch in Gilgal. 21 And he spoke unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean these stones? 22 Then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. 23 For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you, until you were passed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea which he dried up from before us, until we were gone over, twenty-four that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that you might fear the Lord your God forever. Chapter 5 The Canaanites Fear Israel 1 And it came to pass, when all the kings of the Amorites, which were on the side of the Jordan westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites, which were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over, that their heart melted, neither was their spirit in them any more, because of the children of Israel. The Circumcision of the Males of Israel Two at that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Make your sharp knives, and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. Three and Joshua made him sharp knives, and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of the Foscans. Four and this is the reason why Joshua did circumcise, all the people that came out of Egypt, that were males, even all the men of war, 
died in the wilderness by the way, after they came out of Egypt. 5. Now all the people that came out were circumcised, but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way as they came forth out of Egypt, them they had not circumcised. 6. For the children of Israel walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, who came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land, which the Lord swore unto their fathers that he would give us, a land that flows with milk and honey. 7. And their children, whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them on the way. 8. And it came to pass, when they had done circumcising all the people, that they abode in their places in the camp, till they were healed. 9. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Therefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. The Celebration of the Passover 10. And the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal, and kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month at evening in the plains of Jericho. 11. And they did eat of the old grain of the land the next day after the Passover, unleavened cakes, and parched grain on the very same day. The Manna Ceases 12. And the Manna ceased the next day after they had eaten of the old grain of the land, neither had the children of Israel manna any more, but they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. The Captain of the Lord appears to Joshua. 13. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and, behold, there stood a man opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him, and said unto him, Are you for us, or for our adversaries? 14. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the army of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What says my Lord unto his servant? 15. And the captain of the Lord's army said unto Joshua, Loose your shoes from off your feet, for the place on which you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Chapter 6 The Victory at Jericho 1. Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, and none came in. 2. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into your hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. 3. And you shall march around the city, all your men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall you do six days. Four and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. Five and it shall come to pass, that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. 6. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. 7. And he said unto the people, Pass on, and march around the city, and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. 8. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord, and blew with the trumpets, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. 9. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the rear guard came after the ark, the priests going on, and blowing with the trumpets. 10. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I bid you shout, then shall you shout. 11. So the ark of the Lord circled the city, going about it once, and they came into the camp, and lodged in the camp. 12. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. 13. And seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually, and blew with the trumpets, and the armed men went before them, but the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on, and blowing with the trumpets. 14. And the second day they marched around the city once, and returned into the camp, so they did six days. 15. And it came to pass on the seventh day, that they rose early about the dawning of the day, and marched around the city after the same manner seven times, only on that day they marched around the city seven times. 16. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. 
17 And the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein, to the Lord, only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. 18 And you, by all means keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed, when you take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. 19 But all the silver, and gold, and vessels of bronze and iron, are consecrated unto the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. 20 So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. 21 And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox, and sheep, and donkey, with the edge of the sword. 22 But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out there the woman, and all that she has, as you swore unto her. 23 And the young men that were spies went in, and brought out Rahab, and her father, and her mother, and her brethren, and all that she had, and they brought out all her kindred, and left them outside the camp of Israel. 24 And they burned the city with fire, and all that was therein, only the silver, and the gold, and the vessels of bronze and of iron, they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. 25 And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive, and her father's household, and all that she had, and she dwells in Israel even unto this day, because she hid the messengers, which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. 26 And Joshua charged them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord, that rises up and builds this city Jericho, he shall lay the foundation thereof with his firstborn, and with his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. 27 So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was spread throughout all the country. Chapter 7 Israel defeated at I. 1 But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing, for Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. 2 And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethavain, on the east side of Bethel, and spoke unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed Ai. 3 And they returned to Joshua, and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and attack Ai, and make not all the people to toil up there, for they are but few. For so there went up there of the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of Ai. Five and the men of Ai struck of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate even unto Shebarim, and struck them on the descent, therefore the hearts of the people melted, and became as water. Six and Joshua tore his clothes, and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the evening, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. 7 And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, why have you at all brought this people over Jordan, to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us? Would to God we had been content, and dwelled on the other side of Jordan. 8 O Lord, what shall I say, when Israel turns their backs before their enemies? 9 For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall surround us, and cut off our name from the earth, and what will you do for your great name? 10 And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get you up, why do you lie thus upon your face? 11 Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them, for they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and deceived also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. 12 Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were accursed, neither will I be with you any more unless you destroy the accursed from among you. 13 Up, sanctify the people, and say, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow, for thus says the Lord God of Israel, There is an accursed thing in the midst of you, O Israel, you cannot stand before your enemies, until you take away the accursed thing from among you. 14 In the morning therefore you shall be brought according to your tribes, and it shall be, that the tribe which the Lord takes shall come according to the families thereof and the family which the Lord shall take shall come by households, and the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man. 
15 and it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burned with fire he and all that he has because he has transgressed the covenant of the lord and because he has worked shame in israel 16 so joshua rose up early in the morning and brought israel by their tribes and the tribe of judah was taken 17 and he brought the family of judah and he took the family of the zerites and he brought the family of the zerites man by man and zabdi was taken 18 And he brought his household man by man, and Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. 19 And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray you, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what you have done, hide it not from me. 20 And Achan answered Joshua, and said, Indeed I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I have done. 21 When I saw among the spoils a beautiful Babylonian garment, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them, and took them, and, behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. 22 So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent, and, behold, it was hid in his tent, and the silver under it. 23 And they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought them unto Joshua, and unto all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. 24 And Joshua, and all Israel with him, took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons, and his daughters, and his oxen, and his donkeys, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had, and they brought them unto the valley of Achor. 25 And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord shall trouble you this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones, and burned them with fire, after they had stoned them with stones. 26 And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Therefore the name of that place was called, the Valley of Achor, unto this day. Chapter 8 God Gives Victory at I. 1 And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, neither be dismayed, take all the people of war with you and arise, go up to I, see, I have given into your hand the king of I, and his people, and his city, and his land, too and you shall do to I and her king as you did unto Jericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof, and the cattle thereof, shall you take for a prey unto yourselves, lay you in ambush for the city behind it. 3 So Joshua arose, and all the people of war, to go up against I, and Joshua chose out thirty thousand mighty men of valor, and sent them away by night. 4 And he commanded them, saying, Behold, you shall lie in wait against the city, even behind the city, go not very far from the city, but be you all ready, 5 And I, and all the people that are with me, will approach unto the city, and it shall come to pass, when they come out against us, as at the first, that we will flee before them, 6 For they will come out after us till we have drawn them from the city, for they will say, They flee before us, as at the first, therefore we will flee before them. 7 Then you shall rise up from the ambush, and seize the city, for the Lord your God will deliver it into your hand. 8 And it shall be, when you have taken the city, that you shall set the city on fire, according to the commandment of the Lord shall you do. See, I have commanded you. 9 Joshua therefore sent them forth, and they went to lie in ambush, and abode between Bethel and I, on the west side of I, but Joshua lodged that night among the people. 10 And Joshua rose up early in the morning, and numbered the people, and went up, he and the elders of Israel, before the people to I. 11 And all the people, even the people of war that were with him, went up, and drew near, and came before the city, and camped on the north side of I. Now there was a valley between them and I. 12 And he took about five thousand men, and set them to lie in ambush between Bethel and I, on the west side of the city. 13 And when they had set the people, even all the host that was on the north of the city, and those lying in wait on the west of the city, Joshua went at night into the midst of the valley. 14 And it came to pass, when the king of I saw it, that they hurried and rose up early, and the men of the city went out against Israel to battle, he and all his people, at a time appointed, before the plain, but he knew not that there was an ambush against him behind the city. 15 And Joshua and all Israel made as if they were beaten before them, and fled by the way of the wilderness. 
16 and all the people that were in Ai were called together to pursue after them and they pursued after Joshua and were drawn away from the city 17 and there was not a man left in Ai or Bethel that went not out after Israel and they left the city open and pursued after Israel 18 and the Lord said unto Joshua stretch out the spear that is in your hand toward Ai for I will give it into your hand and Joshua stretched out the spear that he had in his hand toward the city 19 and the ambush arose quickly out of their place and they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand and they entered into the city and took it and hurried to set the city on fire 20 and when the men of Ai looked behind them they saw and behold the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven and they had no power to flee this way or that way and the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon the pursuers 21 and when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city ascended then they turned again and slew the men of Ai 22 and the others came out of the city against them so they were in the midst of Israel some on this side and some on that side and they struck them so that they let none of them remain or escape 23 and the king of Ai they took alive and brought him to Joshua 24 and it came to pass when Israel had made an end of slaying all the inhabitants of Ai in the field in the wilderness where they had chased them and when they were all fallen by the edge of the sword until they were consumed that all the israelites returned unto ai and struck it with the edge of the sword 25 and so it was that all that fell that day both of men and women were 12000 even all the men of ai 26 for joshua drew not his hand back with which he stretched out the spear until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of ai 27 only the cattle and the spoil of that city Israel took for a prey unto themselves according unto the word of the Lord which he commanded Joshua 28 and Joshua burned Ai and made it a heap forever even a desolation unto this day 29 and the king of Ai he hanged on a tree until evening and as soon as the sun was down Joshua commanded that they should take his body down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city and raise on it a great heap of stones that remains unto this day Israel worships the Lord 30 then Joshua built an altar unto the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebal 31 as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded the children of Israel as it is written in the book of the law of Moses an altar of whole stones over which no man has lifted up any iron and they offered their own burnt offerings unto the Lord and sacrificed peace offerings Israel renews the covenant 32 and he wrote there upon the stones a copy of the law of Moses which he wrote in the presence of the children of Israel 33 and all Israel and their elders and officers and their judges stood on this side of the ark and on that side before the priests the levites who bore the ark of the covenant of the lord as well the stranger as he that was born among them half of them in front of mount garizim and half of them in front of mount ebal as Moses the servant of the lord had commanded before that they should bless the people of Israel 34 and afterward he read all the words of the law the blessings and cursings according to all that is written in the book of the law 35 there was not a word of all that Moses commanded which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel with the women and the little ones and the strangers that were living among them chapter 9 Israel deceived by the Jibonites One and it came to pass when all the kings who were on this side of Jordan in the hills and in the valleys and in all the coasts of the great sea toward Lebanon the Hittite and the Amorite the Canaanite the Perizzite the Hivite and the Jebusite heard of it to that they gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel with one accord Three and when the inhabitants of Jibon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai for they did work craftily and went and made as if they were ambassadors and took old sacks upon their donkeys and wine skins old and torn and mended five and old patched shoes upon their feet and old garments upon them and all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy six and they went to Joshua unto the camp at Gilgal and said unto him and to the men of Israel we are come from a far country now therefore make you a covenant with us seven and the men of Israel said unto the Hivites Perhaps you dwell among us and how shall we make a covenant with you? 8 and they said unto Joshua, We are your servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are you? And from where do you come? 
9 and they said unto him from a very far country your servants have come because of the name of the lord your god for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in egypt 10 and all that he did to the two kings of the amorites that were beyond jordan to sihon king of heshbon and to og king of bashan who was at ishtaroth 11 therefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spoke to us saying take provisions with you for the journey and go to meet them and say unto them we are your servants therefore now make you a covenant with us 12 this our bread we took out for our provision out of our houses on the day we came forth to go unto you but now behold it is dry and it is moldy 13 and these skins of wine which we filled one new and behold they are torn and these are garments and our shoes have become old by reason of the very long journey 14 and the men took of their provisions and asked not counsel at the mouth of the lord 15 and joshua made peace with them and made a covenant with them to let them live and the leaders of the congregation swore to them 16 and it came to pass at the end of 3 days after they had made a covenant with them that they heard that they were their neighbors and that they dwelt among them 17 and the children of israel journeyed and came unto their cities on the third day now their cities were jibon and chephira and beeroth and kiriat jerim 18 and the children of israel struck them not because the leaders of the congregation had sworn to them by the lord god of israel and all the congregation murmured against the leaders 19 but all the leaders said unto all the congregation we have sworn unto them by the lord god of israel now therefore we may not touch them 20 this we will do to them we will even let them live lest wrath come upon us because of the oath which we swore to them 21 and the leaders said unto them let them live but let them be hewers of wood and drawers of water unto all the congregation as the leaders had promised them 22 and Joshua called for them and he spoke unto them saying why have you deceived us saying we are very far from you when you dwell among us 23 now therefore you are cursed and there shall none of you be freed from being slaves and you is of wood and drawers of water for the house of my god 24 and they answered Joshua and said because it was certainly told your servants how that the lord your god commanded his servant Moses to give you all the land and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land from before you therefore we were very much afraid for our lives because of you and have done this thing 25 and now behold we are in your hand as it seems good and right unto you to do unto us do 26 and so did he unto them and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel that they slew them not 27 and Joshua made them that day hewers of wood and drawers of water for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord even unto this day in the place which he should choose chapter 10 victory over the amorites one now it came to pass when adonai the king of jerusalem had heard how joshua had taken ai and had utterly destroyed it as he had done to jericho and her king so he had done to ai and her king and how the inhabitants of jibon had made peace with israel and were among them to that they feared greatly because jibon was a great city as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than ai and all the men thereof were mighty Three therefore Adonai the king of Jerusalem sent unto Hoham king of Hebron and unto Piram king of Jermoth and unto Japhia king of Lachish and unto Debir king of Eglon saying for come up unto me and help me that we may attack Jibon for it has made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel Five therefore the five kings of the Amorites the king of Jerusalem the king of Hebron the king of Jermoth the king of Lachish the king of Eglon gathered themselves together and went up they and all their armies and encamped before jibon and made war against it six and the men of jibon sent unto joshua to the camp to gilgal saying abandon not your hand from your servants come up to us quickly and save us and help us for all the kings of the amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us seven so joshua ascended from gilgal he and all the people of war with him and all the mighty men of valor Eight and the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into your hand. There shall not a man of them stand before you. Nine Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. Ten and the Lord brought panic upon them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Jibon and chased them along the way that goes up to Beth Horon and struck them to Azekah 
and unto Makeda. 11 And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were on the descent to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died, they were more who died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. 12 Then spoke Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand you still upon Jibon, and you, moon, in the valley of Ijalon. 13 And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hastened not to go down about a whole day. 14 And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. 15 And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. 16 But these five kings fled, and hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. 17 And it was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hid in a cave at Makeda. 18 And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it to guard them, nineteen and stay you not there, but pursue after your enemies, and attack their rear guards, allow them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God has delivered them into your hand. Twenty and it came to pass, when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were finished, that the rest which remained of them entered into fortified cities. Twenty one and all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace, None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. 22 Then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. 23 And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jermut, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. 24 And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war who went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put their feet upon the necks of them. 25 And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom you fight. 26 And afterward Joshua struck them, and slew them, and hanged them on five trees, and they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. 27 And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun, that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees, and cast them into the cave in which they had been hid, and laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until this very day. 28 And that day Joshua took Makeda, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and its king he utterly destroyed, the people, and all the souls that were therein, he let none remain, and he did to the king of Makeda as he did unto the king of Jericho. 29 Then Joshua passed from Makeda, and all Israel with him, unto Libna, and fought against Libna. 30 And the Lord delivered it also, and its king, into the hand of Israel, and he struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, he let none remain in it, but did unto its king as he did unto the king of Jericho. 31 And Joshua passed from Libna, and all Israel with him, unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. 32 And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel, who took it on the second day, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. 33 Then Horam king of Gezer came up to help Lachish, and Joshua struck him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. 34 And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him, and they encamped against it, and fought against it. 35 And they took it on that day and struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. 36 And Joshua went up from Eglon, and all Israel with him, unto Hebron, and they fought against it. 37 And they took it, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and its king, and all its cities, and all the souls that were therein, he left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. 38 And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to Debir, and fought against it. 39 And he took it, and its king, and all its cities, and they struck them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, 
so he did to Debir, and to its king, as he had done also to Libna, and to its king. Forty so Joshua struck all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the lowland, and of the slopes, and all their kings, he left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. Forty one and Joshua struck them from Kadesh Baniya even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Jibon. Forty two and all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. Forty three and Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. Chapter 11 Conquest of the North of Canaan 1 And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Madon, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Atshif, to and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Chinneroth, and in the lowland, and in the borders of Dor on the west, three and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpah. Four and they went out, they and all their armies with them, many people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. Five and when all these kings were met together, they came and encamped together at the waters of Merim, to fight against Israel. Six and the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. You shall hamstring their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. Seven so Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Merim suddenly, and they fell upon them. Eight and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who struck them, and chased them unto great Sidon, and unto Misrephothmim, and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward, and they struck them, until they left none remaining. 9 And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bury him, he hamstrung their horses, and burned their chariots with fire. 10 And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and struck the king thereof with the sword, for Hazor formerly was the head of all those kingdoms. 11 And they struck all the souls that were there with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them, there was not any left that breathed, and he burnt Hazor with fire. 12 And all the cities of those kings, and all their kings, did Joshua take, and struck them with the edge of the sword, and he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. 13 But as for the cities that still stood in their strength, Israel burned none of them, except Hazor only, that did Joshua burn. 14 And all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves, but every man they struck with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any that breathed. 15 As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua, he left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. The Summary of the Conquered Territory 16 So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the lowland, and the plain, and the mountains of Israel, its lowlands, seventeen even from the Mount Hulak, that rises up towards Seir, even unto Balgad in the valley of Lebanon below Mount Hermon, and all their kings he took, and struck them, and slew them. Eighteen Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. Nineteen there was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, except the Hivites the inhabitants of Jibon, all others they took in battle. Twenty for it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. Twenty one and at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakim from the mountains, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. 22 There was none of the Anakim left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod, any remained. 23 So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Chapter 12 The Kings That Were Killed By Moses 1. Now these are the kings of the land, which the children of Israel struck, and possessed their land on the other side of Jordan toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east, to Sihon king of the Amorites, 
who dwelled in Heshbon and ruled from Aroa, which is on the bank of the river Anan, from the middle of the river, and from half of Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, three and from the plain to the sea of Chinneroth on the east. And unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshemoth, and southward beneath the slopes of Pisgah, four and the territory of Og king of Bashan, who was of the remnant of the giants, that dwelt at Ishtaroth and at Edre, five and reigned over Mount Hermon, and over Salka, and over all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and the Marchathites, and half of Gilead, to the border of Sihon king of Heshbon. Six them did Moses the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel conquer, and Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The Kings That Were Killed By Joshua 7 And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel struck on the side of Jordan on the west, from Balgad in the valley of Lebanon even unto the Mount Halak, that rises up towards Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions, eight in the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the lowland, and in the slopes, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, nine the king of Jericho, one the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one ten the king of Jerusalem, one the king of Hebron, one eleven the king of Jermot, one the king of Lachish, one twelve the king of Eglon, one the king of Gezer, one thirteen the king of Debir, one the king of Geder, one fourteen the king of Homer, one the king of Arad, one fifteen the king of Libna, one the king of Adalim, one sixteen the king of Makeda, one the king of Bethel, one seventeen the king of Tipu, one the king of Hefer, one eighteen the king of Aphek, one the king of Lasharan, one nineteen the king of Madon, one the king of Hazer, one twenty the king of Shimron Meron, one the king of Atshif, one twenty one the king of Tanach, one the king of Megiddo, one twenty two the king of Kadesh, one the king of Jokneem in Kamal, one twenty three the king of Dor in the heights of Dor, one the king of the people of Gilgal, one twenty four the king of Tirzah, one all the kings thirty and one. Chapter thirteen The Unpossessed Lands of Canaan. One now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, you are old and stricken in years, and there remains yet very much land to be possessed. To this is the land that yet remains, all the borders of the Philistines, and all that of the Geshurites, three from Shehor, which is east of Egypt, even unto the borders of Akram northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, and the Ishdodites, the Akronites, the Gittites, and the Akronites, also the Evites, four from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mira that belongs to the Sidonians unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, five in the land of the Gebelites. And all Lebanon, toward the sun rising, from Balgad below Mount Hermon unto the entrance into Hamad. Six all the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Misrephothmim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel, only divided by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded you. 7 Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. Boundaries of the Kingdoms 8 With the other half-tribe, the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them, 9 from Aroah, that is on the bank of the river Anan, and the city that is in the midst of the valley, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon, ten and all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon as far as the border of the children of Ammon, eleven and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Marchathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Seleka, twelve all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edre, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for these did Moses defeat, and cast them out. 13 Nevertheless the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Marchathites, but the Geshurites and the Marchathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Boundaries of Levi 14 Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave no inheritance, the sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. Boundaries of Reuben 
15 and Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. 16 and their territory was from Aroah, that is on the bank of the river Anan, and the city that is in the midst of the valley, and all the plain by Mediba, 17 Heshbon, and all its cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamadbal, and Bethbalmian, 18 and Jahaz, and Kedemoth, and Mephart, 19 and Kiriatham, and Sibma, and Zirith Shahar in the mount of the valley, 20 and Beth Peor, and the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, 21 and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses struck with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rekim, and Zor, and Hur, and Reba, who were princes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. 22 Balaam also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. 23 And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben according to their families, the cities and their villages. Boundaries of Gad 24 And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad according to their families. 25 And their territory was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Aroah that is near Ribbar, 26 And from Heshbon unto Ramat Mizpe, and Betonim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, 27 And in the valley, Betharam, and Bethnimra, and Sikot, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon king of Heshbon, with the Jordan and its border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chinnereth on the other side of Jordan eastward. 28 This is the inheritance of the children of Gad according to their families, the cities and their villages. Boundaries of the Half-Tribe of Manasseh 29 And Moses gave inheritance unto the Half-Tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the Half-Tribe of the children of Manasseh according to their families. 30 And their territory was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, three score cities, 31 and half Gilead, and Ishtaroth, and Edre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were allotted unto the children of Machir the son of Manasseh, even for the one half of the children of Machir according to their families. 32 These are the areas which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side of Jordan, by Jericho eastward. 33 But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave no inheritance, the Lord God of Israel was their inheritance as he said unto them. Chapter 14, Method for Setting the Boundaries 1. And these are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. 2. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes, and for the half-tribe. 3. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half-tribe on the other side of Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. 4. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, therefore they gave no portion unto the Levites in the land, except cities to dwell in, with their pasture lands for their cattle and for their possessions. 5. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Boundaries of Caleb 6. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenitzite said unto him, You know the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and you in Kadesh Banya. 7. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Banya to spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. 8. Nevertheless my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. 9 And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your feet have trodden shall be your inheritance, and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. 10 And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spoke this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. 11. Even yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out, and to come in. 12. Now therefore give me this mountain, of which the Lord spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, 
and that the cities were great and fortified, if so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. 13 And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. 14 Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenitzite unto this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. 15 And the name of Hebron before was Kiryat Arba, this Arba was a great man among the Anakim. And the land had rest from war. Chapter 15 Boundaries of the Remnant of Judah One this then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin southward was the farthest part of the south border. Two and their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that faces southward, three and it went out to the south side to Malehakrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended upon the south side of Kadesh Banya, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and turned about to Karka, for from there it passed to Adazman, and went out by the river of Egypt, and the border ended at the sea, this shall be your south boundary. 5 And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the mouth of the Jordan. And the border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. 6 And the border went up to Bethogla, and passed along north of Betharaba, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben. 7 And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Achor, and so northward, turning toward Gilgal, that is before the ascent to Adamim, which is on the south side of the valley, and the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and ended at Enrojal, 8 And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south slope of Thay. Jebusit, the same as Jerusalem, and the border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. 9 And the border extended from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoa, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border went around to Bala, which is Kiryat Jerim, 10 And the border turned from Bala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along to the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chizalan. On the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timna, 11 And the border went out unto the side of Akron northward. And the border went around to Shikaron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out to Jabanil, and the end of the border was at the sea. 12 And the west border was to the Great Sea, and its coast. This is the boundary round about the children of Judah according to their families. 13 And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a portion among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. 14 And Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. 15 And he went up there to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kiryat Sefer. 16 And Caleb said, He that smites Kiryat Sefer, and takes it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter as wife. 17 And Uthnil the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa his daughter as wife. 18 And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she dismounted off her donkey, and Caleb said unto her, What do you wish? 19 She answered, Give me a blessing, for you have given me the south land, give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. 20 This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. 21 And the furthermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzil, and Edda, and Jagur, 22 and Kinna, and Dimona, and Adada, 23 and Kadesh, and Hazer, and Itnan, 24 Ziph, and Telem, and Beloth, 25 and Hazer, Hadatta, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazer, 26 Ammam, and Shema, and Molada, 27 and Hazagada, and Heshman, and Bethplit, 28 and Hazarshual, and Beersheba, and Biziothiah, 29 Bala, and Ayaim, and Ezim, 30 and El Tolad, and Chesel, and Homer, 31 and Ziklag, and Madmanna, and Sansanna, 32 and Lebout, and Shilhim, and Ain, and Rimen, all the cities are 20 and 9, with their villages, 33 and in the lowland, Ishtaol, and Zora, and Ashna, 34 and Zanoa, and Enganim, Tipu, and Enam, 35 Jermut, and Adalim, Soko, and Azika, 
36 and Sharim, and Aditham, and Gedera, and Gedarotham, 14 cities with their villagers, 37 Zenan, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, 38 and Dalim, and Mispe, and Jokthil, 39 Lichish, and Bozkat, and Eglon, 40 and Cabin, and Lamam, and Kitlish, 41 and Gedaroth, Bethrigan, and Nama, and Makeda, 16 cities with their villagers, 42 Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, 43 and Ifta, and Ashna, and Nezib, 44 and Kila, and Achzib, and Maresha, 9 cities with their villagers, 45 Akron, with its towns and its villagers, 46 from Akron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod, with their villages, 47 Ashdod with its towns and its villages, Gaza with its towns and its villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and its coastline, 48 and in the mountains, Shamir, and Jatir, and Soko, 49 and Dana, and Kiryatsana, which is Debir, 50 and Anab, and Ishtamo, and Anam, 51 and Goshen, and Holland, and Gilo, 11 cities with their villages, 52 Arab, and Duma, and Ashang, 53 and Janim, and Beth Tapu, and Afeka, 54 and Hamta, and Kiryatarba, which is Hebron, and Zir, 9 cities with their villages, 55 Mon, Kamal, and Zif, and Jukta, 56 and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Zanoa, 57 Cain, Jaiber, and Timna, 10 cities with their villages, 58 Halhul, Bethjur, and Gedor, 59 and Marat, and Bethanoth, and Eltikan, 6 cities with their villages, 60 Kiryat Baal, which is Kiryat Jerim, and Rabba, 2 cities with their villages, 61 in the wilderness, Betharaba, Midden, and Sikaka, 62 in Nipshan, and the city of Salt, and Engdi, 6 cities with their villages, 63 is for the Jebusites the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16 Boundaries of Joseph 1 And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from the Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goes up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel. 2 Then goes out from Bethel to Luz, and passes along to the borders of the Archites to Ataroth. 3 Then goes down westward to the border of the Japhletites, unto the border of Lower Bethharan, to Geza, and it ends at the sea. 4 So the children of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim, took their inheritance. Boundaries of Ephraim 5 And the border of the children of Ephraim according to their families was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Atarothadar, unto Upper Bethharan, 6 And the border went out toward the sea by Maikmatha on the north side, and the border turned about eastward unto Tanachilo, and passed by it on the east to Genoa. 7 And it went down from Genoa to Ataroth, and to Nara, and came to Jericho, and came out at the Jordan. 8 The border went out from Tipu westward to the brook Kana, and ended at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. 9 And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. 10 And they drove not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under forced labor. Chapter 17 Boundaries of the Half-Tribe of Manasseh 1 There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, for Machir the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he was given Gilead and Bashan. 2 There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh according to their families, for the children of Abiza, and for the children of Helak, and for the children of Ashril, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hepha, and for the children of Shemida, these were the male children of Manasseh the son of Joseph according to their families. 3 But Zelophehad, the son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mala, and Noah, Hogla, Milcha, and Tirzah. 4 And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the leaders, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore according to the commandment of the Lord he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. 5 And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, 
which were on the other side of Jordan, six because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. Seven and the territory of Manasseh was from Asher to Mikemathat, that lies east of Shechem, and the border went along on the south to the inhabitants of Antipu. Eight now Manasseh had the land of Tipu, but Tipu on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim, nine and the border descended to the brook Kana, south of the brook, these cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh also was on the north side of the brook, and the end of it was at the sea, ten southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea was its border, and they joined together in Asher on the north, and in Isachar on the east. 11 And Manasseh had in Isachar and in Asher Bethshan and its villages, and Ablim and its villages, and the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Endor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Tanach and its villages, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages, even three regions. 12 Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would persist to dwell in that land. 13 Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel grew strong, that they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. 14 And the children of Joseph spoke unto Joshua, saying, Why have you given us only one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing we are a great people, since the Lord has blessed us until now? 15 And Joshua answered them, If you are a great people, then get up to the forest country, and clear ground for yourself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants if Mount Ephraim is too narrow for you. 16 But the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshan and its villages, and they who are in the valley of Jezreel. 17 And Joshua spoke unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, You are a great people, and have great power, you shall not have one lot only. 18 But the mountain country shall be yours, for it is a forest, and you shall cut it down, and all the borders of it shall be yours, for you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they are strong. Chapter 18 The Remaining Tribes Assemble at Shiloh 1 And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of meeting there. And the land was subdued before them. New Method for Setting the Boundaries 2 And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. 3 And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long will you hesitate to go to possess the land, which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? 4 Pick out from among you three men from each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise, and go through the land, and survey it according to their inheritance, and they shall come again to me. 5 And they shall divide it into seven parts, Judah shall continue in their territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall continue in their territory on the north. Six years shall therefore survey the land into seven parts, and bring the description here to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. Seven but the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad, and Reuben, and the half the tribe of Manasseh, have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan on the east which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. Eight and the men arose, and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to survey the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and survey it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. Nine and the men went and passed through the land, and surveyed it by cities into seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. Ten and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. Boundaries of Benjamin 11 And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the territory of their lot came out between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. 12 And their border on the north side was from the Jordan, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and it ended at the wilderness of Bethawain. 13 And the border went over from there toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward, and the border descended to Atarothadar, near the hill that lies on the south side of Lower Bethhoron. 14 And the border extended from there, and turned the corner at the sea southward, 
from the hill that lies before Bethhoron southward, and ended at Kiriathbal, which is Kiriath Jerim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west side. 15 and the south side was from the end of Kiriath Jerim, and the border extended on the west, and went out to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. 16 and the border came down to the end of the mountain that lies before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of the Jebusites on the south, and descended to Enrojal, 17 and it went around from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh, and went forth to Jeliloth, which is opposite the ascent of Adamim, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, 18 and passed along toward the north side of Araba, and went down unto Araba, 19 and the border passed along to the side of Bethogla, and the end of the border was at the north bay of the salt sea at the south end of Jordan, this was the south border. 20 and Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the boundaries all around, according to their families. 21 Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho, and Bethogla, and Emikazes. 22 And Betharaba, and Zemarim, and Bethel, 23 And Avim, and Para, and Ophra, 24 And Chepharharmanai, and Ophni, and Geber, 12 cities with their villagers, 25 Jibon, and Rama, and Biroth, 26 And Mispe, and Chephira, and Moza, 27 And Rekim, and Apil, and Tarala, 28 And Zela, Halif, and Jebus, which is Jerusalem, Jaiber, and Kiryat, 14 cities with their villagers. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. Chapter 19 Boundaries of Simeon One and the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon according to their families, and their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. Two and they had in their inheritance Beersheba, and Sheba, and Molada, three and Hazarshual, and Bala, and Ezem, four and Eltolad, and Bethul, and Homa, five and Ziklag, and Beth Markabit, and Hazar Susa, six and Bethlebaut, and Sharuran, thirteen cities and their villages, seven Ain, Remen, and Ether, and Ashen, four cities and their villages, eight and all the villages that were round about these cities to Balatbir, Ramat of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon according to their families. Nine out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, for the portion of the children of Judah was too much for them, therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within their inheritance. Boundaries of Zebulun Ten and the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid, eleven and their border went up toward the sea, and Marala, and reached to Dabshet, and reached to the brook that is east of Jokmim, twelve and turned from Sarid eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Chislot Tabor, and then goes out to Dabarit, and then up to Jaffia. 13 And from there passes on along on the east to Gadhafa, to Ethkazin, and goes on to Remen and bends toward Nia. 14 And the border went around to the north side of Hanathan, and ends in the valley of Iftahil, 15 And Kathat, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, 12 cities with their villages. 16 This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun according to their families, these cities with their villages. Boundaries of Isachar 17 And the fourth lot came out to Isachar, for the children of Isachar according to their families. 18 And their border went to Jezreel, and included Jazalath, and Shunem, 19 And Hafarim, and Shun, and Anharit, 20 And Rabbath, and Kishan, and Abes, 21 And Rameth, and Enganim, and Anhada, and Bethpazes, 22 And the border reaches to Tabor, and Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and the end of their border was at the Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. Twenty-three This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Isachar according to their families, the cities and their villages. Boundaries of Asher Twenty-four And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families. Twenty-five And their territory included Helkit, and Hali, and Button, and Atshif, 26 and Alamalek, and Ahmad, and Mishal, and reaches to Kamal westward, and to Shaholibnat, 27 and turns toward the sun rising to Bethdigan, and reaches to Zebulun, and to the valley of Iftahil toward the north side of Bethimek, and Neil, and continues to Kabul on the left, 
28 and Ebron, and Rehob, and Hamon, and Kana, even unto greater Sidon, 29 and then the border turns to Ramah, and to the fortified city of Tyre. And the border turns to Hosa, and the end is at the sea by the region of Achzeb, 30 Uma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, 20 and two cities with their villages. 31 This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families, these cities with their villages. Boundaries of Naphtali 32 The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali according to their families. 33 And their border was from Helif, from the oak in Zananam, and Adami, Nakeb, and Jabanil, unto Lakam, and it ended at the Jordan. 34 And then the border turns westward to Aznath Tabor, and goes from there to Hakok, and reaches to Zebulun on the south side, and reaches to Asher on the west side and to Judah by the Jordan toward the sun rising. 35 And the fortified cities are Ziddim, Zah, and Hamat, Rakkut, and Shinarith, 36 And Adama, and Rama, and Hazel, 37 And Kadesh, and Edre, and Anhazel, 38 And Ayan, and Migdalil, Horam, and Bethanat, and Beth Shemesh, 19 cities with their villages. 39 This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali according to their families, the cities and their villages. Boundaries of Dan. 40 In the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan according to their families. 41 And the border of their inheritance was Zora, and Ishtaul, and Ishimish, 42 And Shalaban, and Ijalan, and Ithla, 43 And Elon, and Thimna, and Akrom, 44 And Elteke, and Jibuthan, and Balat, 45 And Jehud, and Benaberak, and Gathrimon, 46 And Mejarkong, and Rakan, with the region near Jaffo. 47 And the border of the children of Dan went out beyond these, therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Lashim, and took it, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Lashim, Dan, after the name of Dan their father. 48 This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan according to their families, these cities with their villages. Boundaries of Joshua 49 When they had finished dividing the land for inheritance according to their borders, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua the son of Nun among them. 50 According to the word of the Lord they gave him the city for which he asked, even Timnath Sarah in Mount Ephraim, and he built the city, and dwelt therein. 51 These are the inheritances, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, divided for an inheritance by Lot in Shiloh before the Lord, at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. So they finished dividing the country. Chapter 20, Six Cities of Refuge 1. The Lord also spoke unto Joshua, saying, To speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint for yourselves cities of refuge, of which I spoke unto you by the hand of Moses. 3. That the slayer that kills any person accidentally and unintentionally may flee there and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. 4. And when he that does flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. 5. And if the avenger of blood pursues after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unintentionally, and hated him not beforehand. 6 And he shall dwell in that city, until he stands before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days, then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from where he fled. 7 And they appointed Kadesh in Galilee in Mount Naphtali, and Shechim in Mount Ephraim, and Kiryatarba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. 8 And on the other side of Jordan east of Jericho, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. 9. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourns among them, that whosoever kills any person accidentally might flee there, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21 The families come to be assigned cities. One then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, 
2 And they spoke unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the pasture lands for our cattle. 3 And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their pasture lands. 4 And the Lord came out for the families of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, who were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. 5 And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. 6 And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Isachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. 7 The children of Merari by their families had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. Cities for the Kohathites 8 And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities with their pasture lands, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. 9 And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities which are here mentioned by name, 10 which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had, for theirs was the first lot. 11 And they gave them the city of Arba the father of Anak, which city is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with the pasture lands round about it. 12 But the fields of the city, and its villages, they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh for his possession. 13 Thus they gave to the children of Aaron the priest Hebron with its pasture lands, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with its pasture lands, 14 and Jatir with its pasture lands, and Ishtimoa with its pasture lands, 15 and Holland with its pasture lands, and Debir with its pasture lands, 16 and Ain with its pasture lands, and Jutta with its pasture lands, and Beth Shemish with its pasture lands, nine cities out of those two tribes. 17 and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Jibon with its pasture lands, Geba with its pasture lands, 18 and Athoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands, four cities. 19 All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priests, with 13 cities with their pasture lands. 20 And the families of the children of Kohat, the Levites who remained of the children of Kohat, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. 21 For they gave them Shechem with its pasture lands in Mount Ephraim, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with its pasture lands, 22 And Kibzam with its pasture lands, and Bethhoron with its pasture lands, four cities. 23 And out of the tribe of Dan, Eltike with its pasture lands, Jibithan with its pasture lands, 24 Ijalan with its pasture lands, Gathrimin with its pasture lands, four cities. 25 And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanach with its pasture lands, and Gathrimin with its pasture lands, two cities. 26 All the cities were ten with their pasture lands for the families of the children of Kohat that remained. Cities for the Gershonites. 27 And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half tribe of Manasseh they gave Golan in Bashan with its pasture lands, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Bishtara with its pasture lands, two cities. 28 And out of the tribe of Isachar, Kishan with its pasture lands, Dabarit with its pasture lands, 29 Jermut with its pasture lands, Enganim with its pasture lands, four cities. 30 And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, 31 Helkut with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands, 4 cities. 32 And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamador with its pasture lands, and Kartan with its pasture lands, 3 cities. 33 All the cities of the Gushanites according to their families with 13 cities with their pasture lands. Cities for the Merarites. 34 And unto the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneem with its pasture lands, and Kart with its pasture lands, 35 Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands, 4 cities. 36 And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, and Jahaz with its pasture lands, 37 Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Mephat with its pasture lands, 4 cities. 38 And out of the tribe of Gad, 
Ramo Thingaliad with its pasture lands, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Mahanaim with its pasture lands, 39 Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jaza with its pasture lands, 4 cities in all. 40 So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, who were remaining of the families of the Levites, were by their lot 12 cities. 41 All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty and eight cities with their pasture lands. 42 These cities were every one with their pasture lands round about them, thus were all these cities. The settlement of the land is completed. 43 And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it, and dwelt there. 44 And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them, the Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. 45 There failed not any of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. Chapter 22 Joshua Challenges the Eastern Tribes 1 Then Joshua called the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, to and said unto them, You have kept all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. 3 You have not left your brethren these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. 4 And now the Lord your God has given rest unto your brethren, as he promised them, therefore now return, and get you unto your tents, and unto the land of your possession, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side of Jordan. 5. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law, which Moses the servant of the Lord charged you, to love the Lord your God, and to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. 6. So Joshua blessed them, and sent them away, and they went unto their tents. 7. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh Moses had given possession in Bashan, but unto the other half thereof gave Joshua among their brethren on this side of Jordan, westward. And when Joshua sent them away also unto their tents, then he blessed them, ate and he spoke unto them, saying, Return with much riches unto your tents, and with very much cattle, with silver, and with gold, and with bronze, and with iron, and with very much clothing, divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. 9 And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh returned, and departed from the children of Israel out of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go unto the country of Gilead, to the land of their possession, which they had possessed, according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Building of an Altar 10 And when they came unto the borders of Jordan, that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by the Jordan, a great altar to see. The altar is misunderstood. 11 And the children of Israel were told, Behold, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built an altar near the border of the land of Canaan, in the area of the Jordan, on the side of the children of Israel. 12 And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered themselves together at Shiloh, to go up to war against them. 13 And the children of Israel sent unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead, Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, fourteen and with him ten leaders, of each chief house a leader throughout all the tribes of Israel, and every one was a head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Israel. Fifteen and they came unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, unto the land of Gilead, and they spoke with them, saying, Sixteen thus says the whole congregation of the Lord, what trespass is this that you have committed against the God of Israel, to turn away this day from following the Lord, in that you have built you an altar, that you might rebel this day against the Lord? 17 Is the iniquity of Peor too little for us, from which we are not cleansed until this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord? 18 But that you must turn away this day from following the Lord. And it will be, seeing you rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow he will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. 19 Nevertheless, if the land of your possession is unclean, then pass over unto the land of the possession of the Lord, in which the Lord's tabernacle dwells, and take possession among us, but rebel not against the Lord, nor rebel against us, in building you an altar besides the altar of the Lord our God. 
20 did not touch in the son of Zira committed trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel. And that man perished not alone in his iniquity. The tribes explained the altar. 21 Then the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh answered, and said unto the heads of the thousands of Israel, 22 The Lord God of gods, the Lord God of gods, he knows, and Israel he shall know, if it be in rebellion, or if in transgression against the Lord, save us not this day, 23 That we have built us an altar to turn from following the Lord, or if to offer thereon burnt offerings or grain offerings, or if to offer peace offerings thereon, let the Lord himself require an account. 24 And if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing, saying, In time to come your children might speak unto our children, saying, What have you to do with the Lord God of Israel? 25 For the Lord has made the Jordan a border between us and you, your children of Reuben and children of Gad, you have no part in the Lord, so shall your children make our children cease from fearing the Lord. 26 Therefore we said, let us now prepare to build us an altar, not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, 27 But that it may be a witness between us and you, and our generations after us, that we might do the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings, and with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings, that your children may not say to our children in time to come, You have no part in the Lord. 28 Therefore said we, that it shall be, when they should so say to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say again, Behold the pattern of the altar of the Lord, which our fathers made, not for burnt offerings, nor for sacrifices, but it is a witness between us and you. 29 God forbid that we should rebel against the Lord, and turn this day from following the Lord, to build an altar for burnt offerings, for grain offerings, or for sacrifices, besides the altar of the Lord our God that is before his tabernacle. The Western tribes are pleased with the altar. 30 And when Phinehas the priest, and the leaders of the congregation and heads of the thousands of Israel who were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them. 31 And Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest said unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the children of Manasseh, This day we perceive that the Lord is among us, because you have not committed this trespass against the Lord, now you have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. 32 And Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, and the leaders, returned from the children of Reuben, and from the children of Gad, out of the land of Gilead, unto the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought them word again. 33 And the thing pleased the children of Israel, and the children of Israel blessed God, and did not intend to go up against them in battle, to destroy the land in which the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt. 34 And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar Ed for it shall be a witness between us that the Lord is God. Chapter 23 Joshua reminds Israel of the covenant. 1 And it came to pass a long time after the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua grew old and stricken in age. 2 And Joshua called for all Israel, and for their elders, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age, 3 And you have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto all these nations because of you, for the Lord your God is he that has fought for you. 4 Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain, to be an inheritance for your tribes, from the Jordan, with all the nations that I have cut off, even unto the great sea westward. 5 And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you, and drive them from out of your sight, and you shall possess their land, as the Lord your God has promised unto you. 6. Be you therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that you turn not aside from it to the right hand or to the left. 7. That you mix not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them. 8. But cleave unto the Lord your God, as you have done unto this day. 9. For the Lord has driven out from before your great nations and strong, but as for you, no man has been able to stand before you unto this day. Ten one man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God, he it is that fights for you, as he has promised you. Eleven take good heed therefore unto yourselves, that you love the Lord your God. Twelve else if you do in any way go back, and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, 
even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, and go in unto them, and they to you, thirteen know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourges in your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you. 14 And, behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and you know in all your hearts and in all your souls, that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you, all are come to pass unto you, and not one thing has failed thereof. 15 Therefore it shall come to pass, that is all good things are come upon you, which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things, until he has destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you. 16 When you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them, then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and you shall perish quickly from off the good land which he has given unto you. Chapter 24 Renewal of the Covenant 1 And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and they presented themselves before God. 2 And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Your fathers dwelt on the other side of the river in former times, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nahor, and they served other gods. 3 And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the river, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his descendants, and gave him Isaac. 4 And I gave unto Isaac Jacob and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir, to possess it, but Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. 5 I sent Moses also and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt, according to that which I did among them, and afterward I brought you out. 6 And I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and you came unto the sea, and the Egyptians pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen unto the Red Sea. 7 And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, and brought the sea upon them, and covered them, and your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt, and you dwelt in the wilderness a long time. 8 And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, who dwelt on the other side of Jordan, and they fought with you, and I gave them into your hand, that you might possess their land, and I destroyed them from before you. 9 Then Balak the son of Zippor, king of Morab, arose and warred against Israel, and sent and called Balaam the son of Beor to curse you. 10 But I would not hearken unto Balaam, therefore he blessed you still, so I delivered you out of his hand. 11 And you went over the Jordan, and came unto Jericho, and the men of Jericho fought against you, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Girgashites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I delivered them into your hand. 12 And I sent the hornet before you, which drove them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with your sword, nor with your bow. 13 And I have given you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you built not, and you dwell in them, of the vineyards and olive yards which you planted not do you eat. 14 Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the river, and in Egypt, and serve you the Lord. 15 And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 16 And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord, to serve other gods. 17 For the Lord our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and who did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way that we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. 18 And the Lord drove out from before us all the people, even the Amorites who dwelt in the land, Therefore will we also serve the Lord, for he is our God. 19 And Joshua said unto the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God, he is a jealous God, he will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. 20 If you forsake the Lord, and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm, and consume you, after that he has done your good. 21 And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Lord. 22 And Joshua said unto the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. 
23 Now therefore put away, said he, the foreign gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. 24 And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God will we serve, and his voice will we obey. 25 So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. 26 And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone, and set it up there under an oak, that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. 27 And Joshua said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it has heard all the words of the Lord which he spoke unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest you deny your God. 28 So Joshua let the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. The Death of Joshua and Eleazar 29 And it came to pass after these things, that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being a hundred and ten years old. 30 And they buried him within the border of his inheritance in Timnatsera, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gash. 31 And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, and who had known all the works of the Lord, that he had done for Israel. 32 And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground which Jacob bought from the sons of Hammer the father of Shechem for a hundred pieces of silver, and it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. 33 And Eleazar the son of Aaron died, and they buried him in a hill that belonged to Phinehas his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim.